Good day everyone. I will be presenting the five steps for transformational leadership. Based on the concept of transformational leadership in James McGregor Burns' book, Leadership, transformational leadership is a process where leaders and their followers raise one another to higher levels of morality and motivation. The quotation emphasizes the mutual influence between leaders and their followers, highlighting the essence of transformational leadership. Transformational leaders inspire and motivate their followers to achieve extraordinary results through a compelling vision and by setting an example of high moral and ethical standards. This positive influence can shape the beliefs and behaviors of their followers. The collaboration between them may result in a dynamic and effective work environment where both parties work to elevate each other's moral and motivational levels. There are five steps for transformational leadership. First, create an inspiring vision of the future. Second, motivate people to buy into and deliver the vision. Third, manage delivery of the vision. Fourth, Build ever stronger trust-based relationships with your people and fifth, monitor and keep up the pace of changing environment. For the first step, create an inspiring vision of the future. 1.1. Your vision sets out your team and organization's purpose. A vision statement outlines the long-term objectives and purpose of an organization and this gives the team a motivating sense of direction this will also provide a roadmap for the organization's future goals and act as a reference point for strategy and decision making 1.2 if you're developing a vision for your team start with the company's mission and vision and explore how your team can contribute directly to it it is imperative to commence with the mission and vision of the organization first to guarantee coherence and alignment among its members. This strategy will aid your team's comprehension of how their efforts fit into the larger goals and core values of the organization. Second step, motivate people to buy into and deliver the vision. 2.1. Use business storytelling as part of your call to action. Every member of your team should understand how the vision impacts their interest. This is the most effective method for gaining support for your vision as a transformational leader. You may discuss your vision with your personnel frequently. You may assist them in understanding how they can contribute by connecting it to their objectives and tasks. And you may begin the meeting with a one-minute speech outlining the business unit's vision. People will therefore adopt the vision in their day-to-day -day work. 2.2 Transformational leaders also know that nothing significant happens unless they encourage their people. As a transformational leader, make sure that you understand the various forms of motivation and apply them to encourage your team members to perform at their highest level. There are four forms of motivation that you can utilize in the workplace. The extrinsic or external source action, identified or the external source non-action, and an intrinsic internal source action, and interjected internal source non-action. For the third step, manage the delivery of the vision. To manage the delivery of your vision, you will need to 3.1. Combine successful project management with dynamic change management. When we say project management, it is the practice of planning, organizing, leading, and controlling resources to achieve specific goals, and this is focused on the successful execution of a project according to the defined scope, time, and budget. On the other hand, dynamic change management is the practice of guiding and managing change within an organization in a flexible, adaptive manner. It focuses on helping individuals and teams navigate and adapt to changes in processes, systems, or structures. This will help you deliver the changes you need with the full support of your people. 3.2. Communicate each person's roles and responsibilities clearly and connect this to your plans. A good example of this is the RACI chart or RACI chart. 
This kind of tool can help you to ensure a successful communication of the vision with your team which is crucial for transformational leadership. The R stands for Responsible, A for Accountable, C for Consulted, and I for Informed. For R or Responsible, this is the person who actually carries out the process or task assignment responsible to get the job done. A or Accountable, the person who is ultimately accountable for the process or task being completed appropriately. C or Consulted, people who are not directly involved with carrying out the task but who are consulted, maybe stakeholder or subject matter expert, and I for informed, those who receive output from the process or task or who have a need to say informed. 3.3. Everyone should fully understand what they are responsible for and know how will you measure the success. Next step is to set a clear, smart goals for everyone, including some short-term goals that will help people achieve quick wins and stay motivated. SMART is the abbreviation for specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-bound. 3.4. Don't let yourself down. As a leader, you have to build your self-discipline. Set a good example to your people, especially if they are affected by delays or difficulties, by being a model of hard work and persistence. 3.5. Stay visible by practicing management by wandering around. This is an ideal technique for transformational leaders because it helps you stay connected with daily activities and allows you to answer questions as they arise. If your people see you around, this will help them to reach you in case they need support. Clear communication is essential to the transformational leadership. You have to take time to make sure that your communications are heard and understood and give clear regular feedback so that your people know what you want. Fourth step, build ever stronger, trust-based relationships with your people. As a transformational leader, you need to focus your attention on your people and work hard to help them achieve their goals and dreams. To reach the organization's goals, the business unit should be rewarded. To achieve this, individuals in the team should see a self-interest in achieving the goals of the business unit. 4.1. Work constantly to build relationships, earn trust, and help your people grow as individuals. Go one-on-one -on -one with your team members to learn about their developmental needs and assist them in achieving their professional objectives. Transformative leadership necessitates regular communication with the team members. 4.2. Build trust with your people by being open and honest in your interactions. To increase their effectiveness and efficiency within the company, put yourself in their position and develop emotional intelligence so that you can respond appropriately to their feedback. 4.3. Set aside time to coach your people. When you assist them in finding solutions, you not only build a skilled team but also boost their self-esteem and trust in you. Fifth step, monitor and keep up the pace of changing environment. 5.1, you must be prepared for changes and obstacles in your journey. It is necessary for transformational leadership to be resilient to respond to the constantly shifting dynamics of business environment, proactive for changes, and ongoing development. To learn how to adjust to a changing business environment, you may consult the experts, you may read books or magazines, or attend events like seminars or programs to gain fresh perspectives that will aid in developing improved solutions for changes. Again, the five steps for transformational leadership. First, create an inspiring vision of the future. Second, motivate people to buy into and deliver the vision. Third, manage delivery of the vision. Fourth, build ever stronger trust-based relationships with the people. And fifth, monitor and keep up the pace of changing environment. That's all for my presentation. Thank you for listening.